plus the polished surface of plain and even will allow those lines not only Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. Here's a quick hand tool tip. We all want our joinery to be nice and tight and snug, but there's a point when it becomes too tight and too snug. This joint is physically resisting, my, resisting me as I try to put it together. I could probably use a mallet to get it nice and snug, but you run the risk of forcing a joint together and causing the wood to either split or to subtly weaken the joint so that later it might split due to seasonal contraction and um, expansion and contraction. We try to build as efficiently as we can, but let's face it, as hobbyists, oftentimes you'll start a project and you'll be working on it four, five, maybe even six months later when the seasons have changed around you. A good example, this is the sign to a case for the tool cabinet that I'm building for the hand tool school. I started this some time ago and I specifically have not glued the joints together while I laid out and put in all the other pieces. Now that all that's done and I'm ready to disassemble it and then actually glue it back together, I'm finding that these joints don't want to come apart very well, nor do they want to go back together. And frankly, that's because I originally cut these dovetails back in, I believe it was March, and now that it's June, the humidity has climbed all around me, the temperature's gone up, there's been quite a bit of swelling to all the wood in my shop. So now these joints are a little too tight. So rather than coming in with a chisel and trying to pare away everything and risk creating gaps in the already tight fitting joints, I find that a fine file, I find that a fine file does a great job of just ever so slightly easing those joints so they slide together a little bit more efficiently. I'll position the pin board in my vise so that the inside of the case is away from me. And then I'll just make a couple of passes towards the inside of the case. Now you get a slight feathered edge that comes up in the inside and that's why I always work toward the inside of the case. How much to remove is really up to you based on how tight your joint is. Since I assembled these joints straight off from the off the saw, what I'm doing is just filing until I don't see my saw marks anymore. blow away all my dust and then we'll try the fit again. And you can see that's still really resisting me. I'd love to be able to close that joint up just using hand pressure. So we'll go back and we'll try it again. You know, I can see some spots where I can still actually see my saw marks. <laughs> Let's try it again. That's the fit that I'm looking for. Slides together. couple of taps to seed it all together. Now we've got a good dovetail joint and I haven't risked opening up any gaps in the joinery we work so hard to keep gap free.